this process. So once you do all the pieces right, you put them together however you want. So this is why we do this game, because if your coach is in the corner and says, pick up your right hand, and you, you pick up the, the wrong one, and you got knocked you're gonna get punched in the face. It's like learning your left and right, I'm terrible at it. Like I did this until like I was a professional. Like, I'm not even kidding. So like knowing and hearing calls, walk to your left, half step to your left, move to your right. You have to be able to make those cues right away. So we're gonna try a couple more. Every time now you step or pivot, I want two punches in the front. So it's if I say step, if I say left, it's bam bam, pivot right, bam bam, back. Right. When you step in boxing, you stay in your boxing stance. This is your ground stance. You're solid. Nobody can knock you over. So I don't want to step with a foot and then come right here and stand right up because I'm not balanced. So you facing, you turn and you're facing each other. Somebody messed up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Few more. Pivot right. Very good. So you have lateral movement. When you go back, you push off your front foot and your back foot stops you. So going back, your back foot goes first, front foot follows. One step back. When you go left, your left foot steps, your right foot follows. Step left. And when you go right, your right foot goes first, your left foot follows. So we're going to try all these steps now with it. Back. Right. Very good. So we have lateral movement. We have the four steps. The next piece is a pivot. That means... So you're balanced. I don't want to have a different stance when I step, like this one or this one. Okay? So whatever amount, one leg moves, the other moves. The other thing, when you go forward, you don't step and then take your head. If you step forward, your head should move right away. If I move back and she punches at me, and I see the punch come, and everybody needs to move together so you don't run over each other. So now go too fast. That's it. That's it. So you always go straight up and then you come back to your hands. So when you try with each other, one punch at a time, all right? Now two punches. So watch. Come, come, come. Take your elbow. OK, I just came around. Go ahead and go to your head. That's it. You have to catch it. That's it. Very good. See? So when someone wants to go out of class, I go to the floor. All right, so if we have the left, I usually have the jab, I have the right hand. I put them together, it's a one, two. The basic punches we did before, the uppercuts, the uppercuts, might be to the body, might be to the body, okay? So two basic blocks we want to make sure you do is left hand up, right hand up. It's to the body, elbows touches the side, and you absorb, okay? So one, two, three, four, basic blocks. The, the 12 main things I think all boxers should know and chances are if you know those 12 things, somebody punches at you with a legitimate boxing punch, you shouldn't get hit. So the four basic ones we just showed you are the key ones for basic running around. Turn your shoulders to line your forearm up, bump. So we do left, right. Wrist in, the same pattern. elbow up. So Three. One chin. So, all right, let's try that job again. One, two, three, four. Now, if I have my pad up and I'm here, I might add one of those four uh, the punches coming out, right? And I'm still here. 
But because I only say I'm using one of the four, that's all we're using. But if I come over, she steps over like we said. I want she wants to be in front of me. If I turn, she pivots. And she's still in front of me. So wherever I go, I'm the coach, but she has to do the basic steps to stay in front of me while I might be doing. 